bottom of the afternoon good morning you guys it's your girl fresh and yes once again i was gone for a while but i am back with a way overdue video for you guys um it's not going to be long honestly um today is just going to tell you guys about um my interview with um davida uh you know, you go through the recruiter phase over the phone and then they, you know, call you through, e I mean, talk to you through emails, you set up an interview. And my, I was supposed to have a panel of four, but they were doing so much hiring at the time that I only ended up with a panel of two. And then the other two um, from the panel were in another room interviewing someone else. So that kind of, ease some of my nervousness because I was nervous. I was like, oh my God, a panel of four. Oh my goodness, that's going to be a lot of questions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but I ended up with two and I don't even think it was a whole 30 minutes to be honest with you. Um, they asked like just situational questions. What would you do if this or um, tell me about a time that this happened? You know, they're looking for scenarios where you know, something happened and how you handled it and what was the end result type things, um, which most jobs nowadays are doing situational or behavioral questions. Um, they asked about, you know, where did you see yourself in a few years? You know, was it like this like long term for me? You know, things like that. And I just was like, you know, yes, I would, you know, I noticed that there's a lot of room for growth in this company. You know, I plan to be here at least five years or more, I would like to move up the administrative ladder, et cetera, et cetera. I talked about, you know, my previous jobs and how, because they asked, you know, how, what have I done kind of in relation to this? And I just talked about, you know, when I worked in a group home and so, you know, my customer service experience and dealing with uh, families and patients and, you know, the different temperaments. Um, so, um, they ask questions and then for your part, you need to also make sure you ask some questions, you know, ask questions about the company, go on the internet, research it, find some questions you can ask, you know, um, uh, why they're still there, you know, ask them, you know, find something to ask them so they'll know that, you know, you're engaged and you're interested. Um, they wanna know that you like care about what you're doing and for the people that you're serving because I mean, listen, you're going to be here for about um, 10, 11 hours a day. So you're going to be dealing with these people all day, every other day, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, what else? Um, um, blah, 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 blah. To be honest, yeah, it was. It, it really stayed around situational questions. They asked me, I think they had a paper. I, I would say it was probably like, 10 questions and do not be afraid to if you want them to skip and go to another question and then come back to it or if you need an example you know definitely say so you know there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with going back you know to answer something after you had put some thought into it um be confident uh you know express that you're you know um open to learning and always trying to grow and learn more you know things like that um, you know, they ask you, uh, can you work the long hours? They tell you about it a little bit. And I would say, use that time to ask as many questions as you can about it, just so you can get a better understanding. Um, you know, in Maryland, our ratio is three to one and other states is different. Some is four to one, et cetera. So, um, yeah, I don't want to try to extend this video because I got nothing else like it really was just that you know um what would you do if a patient was yelling or what would you do if a patient wasn't showing up to treatment tell me about a time when you know um a patient was acting ir irate or something so just those type of questions so you know just prepare yourself in that manner um and remember i had no experience coming in here and i'm here now you know so i showed that i cared i have previous healthcare experience. I want to grow in this company. There's a lot of potential in this company. Um, um, I plan to be here a long time. Um, and even if your goal five years from now is to own your own business, it's okay to say that. 
you know, because that's your goal. But right now, these are steps to getting to your goal. You know, if you're here one or two years, to me, that's a sign of longevity in this time and age. You know, a lot of people back in the day used to be about having longevity on jobs. Now it's just more so putting in your couple of years, three, two to three years, and then on to the next job, um, trying to excel and just grow. So be confident. Um, you know what you know, You um, what you don't know, they will train you on and um, dress for success, excuse me, dress for success. Please do not be going into interviews with some jeans and a t-shirt on. Please put on some slacks, um, a, a suit, a tie, you know, be professional. Um, Cause I've seen some people go into interviews and you know, jeans and t-shirts and to me it's just like, you know, be a better representation of yourself. You know, it's what, an hour out of your day that you have to dress up. So just put the effort in, put the time in and go get it. Okay, um, that's all I have. You guys know you can always ask me questions in the comments. Um, but until next time, good luck. I hope you guys that are in training continue to press through it good luck on your exams good luck on those ones who are taking a cct or bonet um and just good luck in general stay strong and remember we give life okay bye